a new boss in the dugout and a chance to dispel the memories for a playoff final heartbreak. Barnsley start the new Skybet League One season at home against Port Vale. The visitors still have Andy Crosby in charge after he was given the top job at the club on a permanent basis at the end of last season. Vale will hope the 18th place finish from the last campaign will be improved upon in this new one. Those sides then have something to prove on the opening day of the season. More we'll weight perhaps on the Barnsley shoulders today on home soil. Chance for Neil Collins to be welcomed to the home dugout here at Oakwell. And salutes all sides of this ground. Paul trying to win that one. He's unable to do so. He's long over the top. And pushing and shoving. And the crowd wanted a free kick, but nothing given. Grant loses out, unable to get on to it. O'Keefe coming the other way. The former first green rovers man finds Cole. Simple as you like for the striker to open his account in the new season. 15 goals in the league last year few were as easy as that O'Keefe's delivery is fantastic to pick him out no chance for Ripley the new man between the posts goal on target after 23 minutes and Barnsley lead 1-0 doesn't get much better than that for the home supporters chance to try and pull it across goal but it's cleared away O'Keefe coming inside and supporting the defensive effort in the centre of the park Cracking delivery in and the header from Harrison bounces away from danger. As Harrison being that threat in the centre of the penalty area just darts across the defender. It's a good header too, but not quite good enough. Roberts needs a sigh of relief. Ball on the deck at the moment, that's a you know, pass if ever I saw one. Didn't have him go back to school, can't remember how to you know, with pen and pencil. And these players still looking a little short of match practice. Russell, centre the cross. Kitchen. Plenty of bodies to aim at inside the penalty area. It's a cracking ball in. Oh, it's turned in. Off the defender. Dan Jones gets it all wrong. And Barnsley doubled their lead. The worst time for that to have come just before the interval. And Jones just had no idea whether to use his chest, leg or what. The teasing cross that suckers him in. Nothing he could do about that. and ball in for Cole well, you don't want to say it too early but that could be that two minutes after the restart Devante Cole gets his second in his sights third one touch so much power on that strike once more Connor Ripley helpless between the posts for Port Vale Looks like it could be a good season for the forward if service continues to come like that. Caddy. Can't quite clear the lines. As it goes down, free kick. Taken by a man that won the set piece. Pulled back to the edge of the area, plenty waiting, although a shot could come. Closed down by Colt. And Cole's off to the races, suddenly there's no one in front of him. He's got support, but he's on a hat-trick. 
between the keeper's legs and shepherd it in. No one's going to steal that. It's an opening day of the season triple for Devante Cole. Port Vale caught pushing too high up the field. Cole was going to win the foot race. Ripley tried his best. It was delaying the inevitable though. Relentless in their pursuit to find more goals. No room for Chislett to try and create anything. Styles gives it across. Kane. Look at the number of red shirts that are forward supporting the move. They're being patient, but there are plenty of options. It's a cracking delivery over the top to find Kitching. It's a beautiful goal. A brilliant team move. Oozing with quality. And Liam Kitchen gets off the mark in a spectacular way. The assist is absolutely sublime. Great control as well from the goal scorer. And Ripley left wondering where his defence is. Five nil at the hour mark. On double figures by the end of this, you know, Port Vale are just collapsing. Could be a chance in this free kick. Can he send it in? John Russell on the score sheet. The first senior goal for the club. Everybody wants to get in on the act now. This looked like something from the training ground. Not in the intricacy, just the ease in which it came to him. A very good header into the corner. And Ripley's arms are locked. He can only look at his defence and shake his head. Down towards the corner flag. Cameron goes back. It's not a bad ball either, it's number seven. Magnificent seven. Andrew Dallas on his debut. Off the bench and on the score sheet. The former Chesterfield man. It's coming the 96th minute. Paul Vale just want this one over as quickly as possible. The best possible start for Barnsley after their playoff nightmare. That's a full-time whistle at Oakwell. The writing was on the wall fairly early in the end. It was a contest until half-time. The 2-0 lead at the break was just added to with five more in the second half. And Barnsley strikes seven past Port Vale. Devontae Cole with a hat-trick as well. To ensure that he will take the match ball home. It's the first time they've scored seven goals in the league since November 1998. And it is an opening day to remember the new Barnsley boss, Neil Collins. The perfect start then for the side beaten in the final last season. It finishes Barnsley 7, Port Vale 0.